we lost a ton from last year, five seniors, all pretty significant players. Uh, and in recruiting, we tried to go out and, and, and fit the needs of, uh, of our program. We thought we needed more length. Uh, we, we had some really, really good interior players, but we lacked length on the boards. We've been, a, in, in the past, been a pretty good rebounding team. Two years ago, we were among the top teams in the league in offensive rebounding. So we tried to address that this year in recruiting. Uh, yeah, like and we got some really important veteran guys, and, and a couple of those are coming off injury. Bakari Worth and is certainly the guy we start with. He's our... In his fourth year, he's already over the 1,000-point mark. He's got a chance to leave as a school's all-time league scorer. Malik Barber, who missed most of last season with an injury and uh, is one of the best rebounders I've ever had. Uh, so we're excited to have him back. Uh, Michael Stones, our other senior leader, point guard. Dre Jackson is a guy I have huge expectations for. He's our league scorer last year. My hope is he can become an all-conference level player. He's in phenomenal shape this year. Uh, so those guys will certainly lead us on the court and off the court as well. Then our home opener, couldn't be a better game. We play Saturday afternoon, the 17th of November, against Queens University. They were in the Final Four last year. So our fans will quickly get to see some of the top programs in the country, and, and hopefully we'll be ready at that point to compete with them. I thought we played Queens really well a year ago. Uh, we'll have to play very well to, to compete with them with a young team. And then, you know, obviously they're always tough – Sunshine State Conference, 20 conference games once again. That's uh, it's exciting because you get a true winner, double elimination, double round robin, I should say. Uh, should be an exciting venture through the league, and and uh, and then a couple couple non-conference games over the break at home, so our fans will get a chance to see us in multiple different opportunities. Oh, what a difference a year makes, and just in terms of as I'm looking at my practice scripts from a year ago and the amount of stuff we we had put in the first week. Part of that was the necessity last year to, to play, and so early we went to California and played, you know, just about 13 practices into the year. We don't have a lot more practices this year, only about 19, but, boy, I know it's going to be slower just because over half our team is new. You know, last year we were trying to work in two new guys, Jules and Marshall. This year we got eight new faces and, you know, and, and five uh, very familiar guys to, to our fan base are, are graduated and gone. Uh, we're expecting our veterans to, to do a good job of leading the young guys, and they've done that so far, but it's, it's going to take a real concerted effort to stay patient with trying to put things in slowly, not letting guys get lost, and at the same time recognizing that we got four or five new guys that are going to have to contribute for us immediately, so they're going to have to really be focused. So it's a, it's a very different team than a year ago.